Guys, right. This video is uh, going to take you through the revision for the module number one and half of module number two. The aim is for you to do that first thing this week. Okay, I would say probably starting on Monday the fifteenth of June, continuing on a uh, Wednesday the. 16th, 17th of June, and you're going to have another video we're going to be posted on Friday morning, and I'm going to offer some support as well at about uh, two o'clock on the Friday. Right, okay. So the aim is just doing revisions, okay. We're not going to do any revision for module number four. Why? Because we just finished it last week and we did all the, uh, all the work for that. So the first thing I've asked you to do is, if you have a choice in terms of your resources for revision for module number one, why don't you go on active learn? Okay. Don't need to, I don't need to set any task and redo some of the, the task work for the module number one. Okay. Good. So now let's go and see what we have. So first of all, okay. I just wanted to make sure that you know that you can redo, okay, all the activities. Okay, we have done from page number six, okay, up to the end, obviously, of the unit. Okay, so all those pages here, we have done the work in our uh, rough book, not virtual exercise book, that belongs to... They, be, uh, they, they, they belongs to this, uh, to this book. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set all the work okay which you're going to do and i am going to offer the correction straight after okay so you'll have to pause the video do the exercise and check uh check check the answers are we okay with that yes right so we're going to start on page 22 if you don't mind on page 22 i would like you to do exercise number one Okay, so this one you have to read the forum. Here, there is a message from uh, Eric, Anna, Thomas, and Asiba. And this is a who question. So read the statement and put a name next to it, or you can just put the first name of the initial. Okay, so pause this video, do that, and come back in a few seconds for you to get the correction. See you in a sec. Have you finished the work? Are you ready to see the correction? Okay, so Karen playing this video and the correction is right here. So pause the video in order for you to uh, check that. Okay, but me, I'm going to come back to our work. When that is done, we're going to tackle exercise number two on page 22. So you have to uh, read this literacy extract from the book called Kif Kif Demain by Faiza Gen. And uh, choose the four statements that are correct from this list from A to H. And obviously it has to be correct from the information given here. So pause the video and uh, do this and come back for the correction. I'll see you in a second. Are you done now? Okay. So what we have for the answers are here. A, C, D, H. Right? Okay. Now, if you want to do something a bit more, you know, valuable, because remember we're doing reading, translation, and uh, writing, how about to do some uh, translations? Okay, so let's go back now to this activity here. And... I would like you pause the video uh, when you, when you pause the video to translate all those statements here, right? So pause the video and after I'm coming back, and we're going to check your answers. Okay, that should be done. So Eric's statement should have been: everything was okay, was good until we arrived to the restaurant. It was three o'clock in the afternoon and they refused to serve us. We were hungry when we returned home. 
translation from Anna. I've uh, stayed one hour in front of the cinema, but I was very disappointed. Why? My friend was waiting for me in front of the shopping center. Thomas's. When I arrived to the concert with my girlfriend, I've met, I found again, a group of old friends. My girlfriend found one of these boys super kind and she went or she left with him. And the last one. My father told me, you are going to stay at home this evening to do your homework, but I still went to the nightclub. He, read, uh, he came to the nightclub to look for me. <gasps> the shame. Okay, so that was a translation for that. You could translate this text as well, but unfortunately, uh, but, uh, but I don't think that this is very good to translate literally uh, uh, literature text. Okay, so now we're going to work on page twenty-three with exercise number three, which is very straightforward. That's in line with what we've been doing just before. That's a translation. So do the translation, or put the video, do translation, and come back for the correction. See you in a sec. Okay, welcome back, should be finished. So the translation in English is here. Pause the video for you to be able to do that in your own time. Me, I'm going to move on, okay, to page 23, the next exercise. Now we have three exercises that are listening, they're totally relevant to us. So we're going to move, but we're going to move to page 24. Right, we have a role play. This is not really interesting for us. This is speaking, so let's see what we have. Yes, now we have something rather relevant for us. <clears throat> so, in terms of a practice, what can we do? So, we have control écrit. This is a written assessment. So, to give us an idea, remember you're going to have a writing task to do. Okay, it's going to be a 90 word task. So, why not doing this one? Okay, obviously, because we're doing revision, try to do that, obviously, in exam uh, or test condition. So no help whatsoever. However, however, sorry, I, re I rephrase that. You should be doing that in normal assessment without your resources. But on the next week, you will have access to all your books. So you choose the way you want to do that. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to offer you a, a model answer in there. But what I'm going to do is once you have done this, okay, if you're moving on after I've said pause, I'm going to explain you this task. So like this, we, uh, uh, you know how you should have conducted it the best way possible. Okay, so pause the video, do this, do this, this writing and come back to me. Right, so what do we have in this uh, task? You have to describe your adolescent life for your blog. Describe it in such a way that the sort of friend that you prefer. Obviously, you have the present tense. The personality of your, pre your, your best friend. Okay, so present tense again. Number three, what you have done recently with your friends. Okay, that is a past tense. Vos projets pour ce weekend, eh, pour, avec vos amis. This is your project for this weekend with your friends. That's the future. Okay, so it's very clear cut this one. Two in the present, one in the past, and one in the future. Excellent. Now, let's move on to page 27. Exercise number two. So you're going to do that as a kind of a study. 
So obviously, Emily has done this task. Okay. She has responded to the task you have seen on the previous page. This is her answer right there. Study it within those criteria. So that is going to give you a good model, okay, in order to how you're going to arrange your ideas and you could you put the put the, your points together. And also it's going to give you some nice model answers. So look at how Emily has written the task, okay, and find the different example from A to E. Okay. I come back in a minute when you've done this task, so I can give you some guidance about that. See you soon. How do you do? Everything's okay? Yeah, so here it is what you should have gotten. So I'll pause this video now in order for you to process that. What you could do as well, if you want to do something for the translation aspect of it, you could translate this paragraph. I will not offer a model translation for you for this. Okay, so you can do that, pause the video, do this, okay? Like this will be good practice for the translation. So for exercise number three, this one here, what you could do is now you take your own answers you have done for exercise number one, and you have responded to a task and do exactly the same thing. Okay, you've done in exercise number two with your answers. Okay. Now, the translation, okay, so obviously you could read this, and now we're going to do exercise number one on that page. Uh, don't feel, you know, if you feel like, I think we've done it, it's very likely. But remember, we didn't revision. Revision is we are revising, so we're redoing things we have done. So there's no, it's not stupid at all to redo all the exercises or some of the exercises you have done before. So can you do this task now? And uh, I see you in a few seconds for the correction. See you soon. Well, if you have finished, here are the answers. Pause the video. And now we're going to do the last one, which is also a translation. Quite likely we have uh, done it, okay, but that doesn't matter. So translate that and come back afterwards for the correction. Right, are you ready for the corrections? Here it is. So pause the video, double check. Pay particular attention, obviously, to the tenses. Cool. So now, I believe there is nothing else, okay, except obviously the vocabulary. You should be aware of that. Okay, and probably should have done that before. So now the next part of the video, okay, in the next, I don't know how many minutes, we're going to look at module number two. So same thing as I've said, to, uh, I've said to you, you should redo as many exercises from this module. Everything is in your rough book, not your virtual exercise book, right? So that does include all those pages from 30 to the one who well, are unraveling in front of you. But we are going to do only half of this work today. Okay, so I'm going to invite you just to do the reading aspect of it and for uh, you you're going to continue obviously on Wednesday for your normal lesson. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not available for a live lesson on Wednesday, it's because that's my day where I'm going to go back to school. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be available for doing any lives, but we can review that in the future. So what are we going to do for this one? The first exercise you have, as, as, as usual, you have a reading, okay? And can you answer the following question in English, right? As usual, you pause the video, do the work and come back for the answers afterwards. Did you manage? Yeah? Okay, good. So you have the answers. Pause the video for you to be able to check them. What you could do is a translation. Okay, 
of those four extract here, Aisha, Salim, Maud, and Lucas. I am not going to offer you a correction uh, for that. Try to keep this video quite uh, short and sweet, but obviously with all the translation devices you have, dictionaries, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now we're back in page 44 and we're going to tackle exercise number two. Okay, for exercise number two, this is translation in English. Okay, so do this, pause the video, and come back. i see you soon. How was it? Okay? Should have been okay. A few other words probably you, uh, you're you struggling with, but that's normal this time. Remember, it was a long time ago we did that. So now, here is, here are the, uh, here is the translation for this text. Right here. Obviously, it will vary, you know, use your common sense for the synonyms and stuff like that. Now we're going to do one more exercise to finalize unit one and half of unit number two. We're going to do exercise number three. Well, same thing. This is an extract from a book named La fille qui n'aime pas les fins. Okay, read it and answer the question in English. Right, I see you soon. Okay, yeah, it's bound to be a bit more difficult. Okay, because it comes from uh, literature, French literature. So you're going to see that uh, it's the, 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 I would say, not the format, but the, the language is very sustained, is very, uh, can we say, posh, but it isn't really. Right, here are the corrections. Right, pause the video and come back to me when you're finished. Right, guys, this is your first lesson and a half of the week. I hope that uh, it's going to be okay. My uh, email okay, uh, box is available to you guys if you want to send me some uh, some questions, anything like that. Uh, this week, you should probably go back to school at least uh, once. I don't know which day you're doing that, but all the best with that. Okay, Take your headphones with you just in case you have some video work to do. Well, you take care of yourself, guys, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.